Hey guys, Merc R Russ back with another CD game. This one, we're going to be going with Aquila. And in this match, this is a uh, video that I just recorded here. So, uh, we are bottom tier. I figured this would be a good one to show, uh, to see how you can work Aquila in these bottom tier situations. Uh, my first thing is I'm going to try and find a DD that I can work on. Uh, Gearing is a great target, especially if he keeps his AA off. Um, I see that he doesn't turn it on, so I just drop the fighter so I can get a better alignment on him. Um, you definitely want to be choosy when you're bottom tier in a CB, especially with this one with its weak AA or uh, weak planes. So I'm just gonna get the strike off here. Get a nice broadside. He is turning out, so we know that he's gonna keep continuing to turn out. And on this fight, we get a good lineup, just hitting our break, slowing down, getting a nice. Juicy side. So uh, 6,000 damage on a tier 10 uh, DD. Always good to have your AA on when you're spotted, guys. <laughs> um, so you'll see, we don't really have many great targets outside of gearing um, and the DDs. I mean, Monarch is the only other one, and uh, Rupric is also a great target, but he's on the far side of the map. And I'm not going to go over there because if that CV wanted to spot me, I'd be really effed by that Vermont and a long range Stalingrad. So I just need to stay away from that end. And I you're gonna see me try and navigate and stay away from that from that uh, enemy CV's line of sight. Because that Vermont could end my life at any second. Um, and yeah, if you let me just address that too. If I did try to park behind this island, I mean I'd be dead. The Vermont sh shells could go over it and just completely nuke me. So it just makes no sense to operate on that end. Um, all right, back to it. So we force uh, Kunibretta, Kuniberti to uh, use the smoke. We see Gearing is still driving around. I don't think he's gonna drive at me um, in this case. So I just kind of line up for if he was gonna continue to see. Lo and behold. And we are avoiding the D7. I mean, it's a tier 8, but it's one of the best tier 8 cruisers as far as AA goes. So I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible. Here I lose sight of him, and for some reason I fire just too early. So completely brick that shot. Kind of uncharacteristic. Uh, on this flight, we are just trying to get a little bit of rotation going. I haven't used my torpedoes out. Uh, just yet, so I want to get those out there. Um, do want to throw a fighter out there to try and spot. Uh, I can see that the team is getting good damage on that to seven, and if that goes down, then I could potentially work on Moscow on my own. Um, here, I want to go around this island and uh, get the torpedo strike to finish him, but unfortunately, Moscow is right there, and he's going to shoot down that spotter down, uh, pretty quickly. So here we're going for Monarch. Uh, bonus of going this way is that we can double check to see if the DD is on this end. And lo and behold he is. Try to pop my heel to save that plane. Doesn't work out. Josen is a good clan I think. Um, I, I believe so. I'm not too sure. But uh, I've played a match with Josen guys the game before this, I think, and they did pretty well, so I can only assume. Uh, so that guy knew you had to turn there. Usually you can get your second uh, lineup to work out. If that heal had panned out correctly for me, I could have got that double torpedoes on him, but sometimes it doesn't work out your way. So uh, again, I'm, I'm always trying to watch the map and trying to see who's going to be alone. Uh, the, obviously, the Cuniberti would be an ideal target right now, and I'm kind of actually torn on what to target. <laughs> um, I see that Cuniberti has, like, I, I thought Kagero was going to go down this pass, so I'm like, no, 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 please don't do that. Um, right now, I want to get a strike on him since I see he's alone. I'm not sure if he's going to break or go forward here, so... You get an okay strike there. Uh, Italian DDs don't have good long-range AA, so I'll just be taking one 
ship's AA there, uh, aka the Monarchs, if I did do that ideal turn. Um, so there was no problem in doing that type of turn to get that second strike. Uh, unfortunately, we only get like 50k or something like that. Or I'm sorry, uh, like 50 damage. <laughs> Uh, so right now, it's just, you know, picking targets. Uh, we can be patient. Once, the, as the game plays out, uh, we have we are going to have more and more opportunities to get those uh, one targets. Right here, we are going to direct traffic. So Monarch, I, I think, is turning out here. I want him to keep driving straight. Um, so I hope I'm influencing him here by having him drive more forward, because if he does, he's going to be facing uh, the Kremlin and the Burgoyne. So... I think that influences decision to drive forward because he should know better than to do what he's doing. <laughs> he's basically dead now. Um, and yeah, there he goes. So uh, sometimes you can direct traffic with this ship. Uh, now we're gonna go back to gearing since I know he doesn't like to show his, uh, he doesn't like to use his smoke. I'm also kind of thinking, where's the seven? If I can maybe throw a spotter and, and get an eye on him right here, then I can line up a good shot, depending on where he is. Since, uh, especially since Gearing did add the fact smoke. And, uh, in actuality, I didn't drop the fighter. Huh, that would have been a better idea, though. That way, that mistake doesn't happen. So I know I'm not going to get a second strike with Republic in Vermont right behind him and with the 7 strong AA, so I just recall those. Kind of nervous here if he keeps accelerating, because uh, only Holland is in his way. So I do decide to kind of go wide a little bit more. And here we got a good lineup, or at least a strike. 3300. Not great, not horrific. Again, Vermont's right there, so I'm not going to get that second strike. Here, um, I'm torn. I really want to go to the, the 7, but I don't know where this Kumiberte uh, is, so I have to fly out this way. And then they do pop the radar, so I have to go over here for nothing. Um, at this point, We've got these so far away, like, it's, I don't think it's making sense to uh, go after him. So I do want to get the descent because he's just pushing through, um, and Kuberti is just running. So, yeah, I, I decide, alright, let's just go for the seven here. So only 36k, drop the spider to get the peak, get a nice lineup. He's low enough now that we can uh, really affect him. And yeah, I really take note of using islands to your advantage as much as possible. Um, leveraging that when you're in a bottom tier game is the best way to have an impact. Um, you just really have to leverage it as much as possible. So here we start getting our damage now. Now at this juncture, we have only a few targets, um, all with great AA and one that is maneuverable and uh, captained by a good player. Uh, I recognize that player, he's definitely decent. Um, I decided I want to go with uh, Vermont, being as he's stuck here by himself, uh, as well as Stalin, you know, he's kind of out of range. He's distant, so you know, just no reason to kind of go for him. I had to keep like flying this way, and might as well just hit Vermont. It's closer. He's backing up. He's stuck. He's not open water. It just makes more sense. So we do pop the heel. Try and save planes for a second flight. That one, I just wanted to get a strike on him. Because uh, I was kind of nervous about it if he had de defensive AA. On this flight, we're aiming for that stern. Let's try and get a flood going here. Because if I can get continuous damage on a tier 10, um, 
that's gonna really help your score too. <laughs> and it also kills him, right? So, so we do get the flood, um, but he does heal it. So we're gonna give it number one. I want to use the island. And number two, by using the island, we're also buying some time for uh, the repair to work through it. So see how we're just maximizing. As long as the top of his ship doesn't see me, the A does not fire. Here we go. Enough time has passed now for the um, damage control to to work through. Trying to turn, trying to turn. Unfortunately, we took some A from Stalin, so we're not going to have enough planes to get too straight, or uh, perfectly anyway. We tried to rush it, but it doesn't work out. But we got continuous damage going on him. So here I'm still trying to work on him, but I see that the Holland Torps are coming in. So as long as he eats one of those, I mean, he's basically dead. Yeah, so at this juncture, I just try to stay out of his AA. And I think, all right, well, let's go for Stalin. But as you'll see, I dropped this fighter here to kind of cut off that, uh, cut off the AP bombers. But I see Stalin turned on defensive AA. Absolutely no point in trying to strike him. Um, at that, at the angle I was approaching either. So I just recall, let's cut our losses and go for Moscow. With Stalin pushing in and a big ass island in between us, there's a lot of damage that I could potentially do here to him. So I'm not scared really of that Stalin that much. So we got Moscow. We need to avoid these flak walls as much as possible. Unfortunately, we take hits there. We're able to throw off the uh, second one and that last one. We do throw off enough. So Moscow is on the far side. Now we can work on Stalin. Real big bonus here is that we have this island to help us. So uh, again, we're gonna try and maximize that. As long as uh, as long as the top of his ship doesn't see me, we're okay. So uh, A for effort. Uh, F for execution. We dropped way too behind him there. Should have, should be better than that. <laughs> it's okay. We're at 100k in the bottom tier game, so it's cool. It's cool. And we'll lead and make sure we get him that time. Here he is turning pretty hard, so I know I'm uh, gonna get a nice broadside, but he dies anyway to that strike, so. So everything's dead. Hopefully that kind of helps you. You know, use islands as much as you can when you're bottom tier. Definitely, you know, don't just fly in and get your damage outright. You, you know, you have limited planes. As much as people don't want to believe that. Um, and yeah, really just work your side. Um, be conscious of the long-range enemy battleships, and absolutely try to leverage. Uh, your terrain and the right weapon for the right moment. Um, and try and plot out your, your attack runs and where the action is going to be five minutes from now, three minutes from now, etc. Uh, drop that fighter way too close, dies insta. Um, I was just trying to spot him just to kind of end this game. We could not drop a fighter and just keep, we could get like another free strike before anyone ever sees him. But, you know, we just decided let's just kind of end this, so. I asked the team, y'all got range yet? We dropped the fighter on a good spot this time, so that they can just start working him out here. So we see that 123 drop from, go from 123 to 137, not bad. And uh, he does, in fact, die before we get to him. Quilla, really great ship. Uh, really fun. I've already kind of talked about what CVs are better, but um, yeah, you just really got to be picky and choosy and smart with your target selections and approaches. So we do get top tier uh, or top of the leaderboard. Not bad considering uh, Aquila's weaknesses. Hopefully that was helpful. Have a great rest of your day, guys. GG!